This is a great concept question for energy concepts. I have three projectiles launched from the top of a building. And I'm just going to give them all the same mass just for convenience. And they're all launched with the same speed but at different angles. So projectile A goes straight up and then straight back down. It crashes into the ground like this. Let's call that VA final. Projectile B is shot up at an angle, goes on a parabolic trajectory, ends up landing somewhere over here. There's some angle to that V final. I'll call that VB final. And then projectile C is going to go off on a different parabolic trajectory. That'll be V C final. So the question is, how do these impact speeds all compare to each other? And one way to solve the problem is to actually go into all of the kinematic stuff for projectile motion. Um, a would be a vertical free fall, and then you could get an expression for the final speed on every single one of these and compare them. But the point of this is that having the concept of energy makes everything so much simpler. So if I call this a height of H, I'm just going to talk through it real quick. And then we can actually put some numbers on it to make it more algebraically precise. Every one of these started with the same kinetic energy. Every one of these started with the same gravitational potential energy. And they all end with the same gravitational potential energy. And that guarantees their final kinetic energy is going to be the same. All right, so that's the real quick qualitative talk through the problem. So I know they hit the ground at the same speed. Let's go ahead and prove it a little bit more precisely. So I'm going to put the origin on the ground. Y equals H is going to be my launch height. And then I can express energy conservation for any one of these things. So E initial equals E final. Maybe I'll just, I'll say I'm doing the analysis on projectile A. And in my initial state, I've got kinetic energy, one half M V naught squared. I've got potential energy, MGH. And in my final state, I've got kinetic energy, but no gravitational potential energy because I put my origin for my y coordinates on the ground. Let's look at the same expression for B. I don't think I'll do C because it's going to get too redundant. For B, what do I have? M, 1 half m v naught squared for the kinetic, mgh for the potential, 1 half m v b final squared for the kinetic. Okay, it's exactly the same expression. The mass cancels out, by the way, but that's not relevant to sort of answering the question that we asked. So these impact speeds have to be the same, and C, of course, has exactly the same expression on it. Um, now, just to add a little bit of bonus material, I could take one of these and solve for the impact speed and get exactly the same expression for all three projectiles. So let's just do that just to be thorough. Um, I had canceled the M's, multiplied both sides by 2, and I get V naught squared plus 2GH. It's equal to VB final squared. And of course, VA final squared would look exactly the same. Let's solve for VB final. And I get V naught squared plus 2GH. So all three of these projectiles have exactly this same expression for their impact speed. Um, I've, well, I'll just leave it there.